Hi, it's Bridget. Hey there. Welcome to a new series, Sunday Morning Coffee with Bridget. And yes, I have my coffee cup. I'm sitting outside on my porch. It's summer. You might hear the wind whistling through every once in a while, which is much appreciated. Let me tell you, it's going to be a very hot day today, which I so love. I know some people think I'm crazy. I love that. Sunday morning coffee is an opportunity for us to stay connected during these times. Audio is a great way, real convenient for me to just grab and share some insight or inspiration with you. As you know, my purpose is always, no matter what YouTube channel I'm on, whether it's Fairy Grasshopper, my vlogging channel, where I share lots of psychic and life things, videos and such, or whether it's Above Life channel, where we focus on mediumship and psychic connection with afterlife celebrity guests. The goal is always to inspire your spirit and to fill you with hope. And I intend to do that. So as we are here today, we're going to start off a, sort of a podcast style. I've done this exact format previously. It's been years. Many of you didn't even know me 10 years ago. But I have done this very serious Sunday morning coffee with Bridget about 10 years ago. So kind of uh, bringing it back again, this format is just a talk style format. Today's topic is looking forward or having something to look forward to. Do you have that? Like, are you that kind of person where under normal circumstances. Now I'm going to ask you to think back to normal circumstances, what that used to be, <laughs> where you kind of always, whether it's during the day, like you had something to look forward to when you got home that night, whether it be a great dinner or a, a time with friends or whatever it might be, or looking forward to Friday, you know, so you could have the weekend in a traditional way, or looking forward to that vacation that you've been planning or saving up for that great vacation, or whatever it might be, right? Looking forward, looking forward, looking forward. That's kind of our habit. That's our tendency. And it, it, it's, it's a motivator for us. It motivates us. It inspires us. I know it inspires me. I always have that myself. I always look forward to if you watch me on Fairy Grasshopper on my vlogging channel, you know that I love Disney. I love Disney. It's very sentimental to me. It reminds me of my dad. It reminds me of family. I've had great memories there with my sister, with my kids, with my family, with my friends. I mean, I've had, I've even done a business retreat there, a retreat there at Disney World. I've been at Disneyland. That's where I grew up going to. So I, I have this connection, right? And the energy of that for me is so hopeful, so inspiring. It keeps me going. So if I plan a trip, even if it's a year and a half away, I can do things that help to trigger my excitement and anticipation of that fun time. And it gives me something to look forward to. Now you do that too. I'm sure you do that. You do that in different ways. It seems as though right here, right now, this idea of having something to look forward to, I'm not sure that it exists. I'm not sure that we can use it as a trick to get our bodies to comply, our hearts and our souls to work with our mind to achieve our goals. The goal of living, getting up every day, working, saving our money for that trip, focusing on that future experience that we're looking forward to. For some, it might be a goal. Maybe you set some goals for health, for example, like I'm going to get into those size 10 jeans, for example. Whatever it may be, is something to look forward to, something to look forward to. We have been constantly programmed to live for a future. Have you noticed that? Like right here, right now, during this time where we are paused, where everything slowed down, in some ways slowed down or ground to grinding to a screeching halt, and in other ways, speeded up, like fast, 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 fast. 
almost like rush, hurry up and get it done before something happens to me, before I'm affected, before I get sick, before I lose my job. There's this different kind of almost a manic energy that's also happening at the same exact time that this complete stagnant, frozen pause energy, you can't do anything. So it's like this incredible manic, I have to do everything, and this incredible, almost like a depressed, can't do anything state. And what I'm suggesting is that we, you and I together, we've got to find this place in between, this center point that isn't looking forward to the future. It's looking forward to today to narrow our frame of reference so that we can actively engage in ways that are healthy and not manic or stressed out or so heavy that we're so buried in worry and concern about what if, what might happen, that we can't even function or participate or show up today. We're kind of self-fulfilling our prophecy of not having that job or getting sick because the more heavy your energy is, the more stagnant your energy becomes, the more you give in to energy that is not healthy for you. So you see this, this, this place that we're in is such a stark contrast. There's like either this or that. It's like all or nothing. And what we need, you and I together, what we need is something to look forward to. And it's not something, it's someone, it's us. We've got to be looking forward to the next beautiful thing. The next meme on Facebook that makes me smile. The next time I walk down the hallway carrying my coffee cup and I bump into my little dog that just looks up at me with those cute big brown eyes seemingly so happy adoring me with unconditional love that moment and then the next one and the next one and the next one and the next one our looking forward window we've got to zoom it in a bit more we've got to bring it into the moments of our life as we are living and moving throughout our day. Now, that doesn't mean that everything's going to feel great as soon as you're a Bridget. I'm not going to just magically feel better. Well, no. It does take some effort on your part to be willing to participate. Are you willing to participate? Are you willing to look forward during your day and find things that help to inspire you or help you to feel better than you felt the moment before, like finding your, seeing that little doggy and having it look so sweetly at you. Are you willing to pause in that moment and absorb that to really receive that? Cause that's directed right at you. You people with pets, you know exactly what I'm talking about. So much joy and so much love. Those are the kinds of things that we can look forward to to jumping on a phone call with a friend and chatting. You know, maybe pouring a beverage and like I am doing right now, I have coffee, I have my Sunday morning coffee, my hot, hot coffee and chatting with you. Maybe you do that. You look forward to doing that with a friend once a week or twice a week or different friends, just checking in, talking about things. Maybe you decide together then to like read a book together or something so you have something to talk about that's different than world events or past it's what's present so maybe you read a book and you share that with each other and talk about that there's lots of creative ways that you can engage with your life right now lots of things to look forward to you can plan some of this you can be planful like i said like read a book get a friend to read it with you have conversation twice a week about it what have you you can, to some extent, generate some ideas for yourself so that you can consistently and constantly have things to look forward to in your day. Maybe a quiet walk around the neighborhood. Maybe an early morning walk. I love these, you guys. So I'm discovering these this summer because it's been so blessed hot in July in Minnesota. It has been so heavy humid. Oh my gosh. Where, and I like humidity. If you, again, if you watch Fairy Grasshopper Bog, you know, I love humidity, but it has been so heavy for me 
that, you know, gives me some headaches and some sinus stuff. So I haven't actually been able to enjoy it as much. So what I've done instead is to ensure that I get a nice walk in in the morning, I get up early enough so I can go out now. Like right now I'm thinking, okay, the sun's getting higher in the sky. It's gonna get hotter. I need to get my butt off this audio and out walking. And I will, I already did actually, two loops around the block with one of my doggies. But I have discovered walking early in the morning is beautiful, it's so peaceful, it's quiet. Lots of birds, lots of just this fresh energy as the sun is coming up, it's gorgeous. I would have never thought to do that before. I would have never made the effort to do that before. And that's something to look forward to. That's a great way to start my day. And it's not something I'm doing because I, I have to exercise, I have to walk, I have, I'm doing it out of an inspired energy. I'm doing it with the intention to connect, to be present. And maybe right now, part of the purpose of us is that we're having collectively in this group experience we're in, this big experiment, because that's really what we're in. It's like this big, grand experiment. Uh, that shouldn't make you feel any worse than you already do, people is that we get to learn how to be present. What the hell does that mean? Because people have been talking about it forever, all these great yogis and these very masterful spiritual teachers who are way more evolved than I know I am in this human body are like all about peace and being present. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, okay, okay. Sometimes I can do that, sometimes I can't. I don't know about you, but I got a lot of life, a lot of human life distracting me. Well, now here right now, the only thing that's really distracting me is the worries that I have, the projections about the what ifs, the concerns, the worst case scenarios, the, the, that energy that I can't do anything about in this moment. I was on a call with my uh, coach the other day and I said to her, I, I am just, I'm pretty much over the worrying thing worrying about my kids, worrying about if college is gonna start, worrying about the mental health of my kids because the, you know, that's kind of fragile <laughs> for anybody, but for some people more than others during this time and the money situation and I mean, just all sorts of stuff going on. And I said to her, I am done with worrying. I'm just tired of it. I, it's not doing me any good. It's exhausting and I feel like it's such a waste right now because if all I'm doing is spending time with myself in my thoughts and my head, which we always are, even when you're in a group of people or you're at work or no matter what you're doing, you're always spending time with yourself because your mind is going constantly. And now when our, our physical environments don't have quite as many distractions, I mean, they still have distractions like work and that kind of thing, but not as many, the worry is big and it just, it seems like it's like this annoying, nagging thing. And I'm like, it's, it's not productive. And I finally, in my mind at least, not in my heart, because I do have the anxiety that I, I wrestle with too, just like you, I'm sure empaths, right? But in the mind, I recognize that I just, I'm gonna worry when it's time to worry, <laughs> you know? Because why worry in advance? I'm still gonna worry at the event. If something happens, when something happens that is undesirable, I'm going to worry. I'm going to deal with the consequences. I'm going to deal with the effects, the ramifications of people I love, their suffering, their pain, I'm gonna feel it. So why should I be feeling it all along and anticipating it? It's not gonna make it less than when I get there. Instead, it's going to wear me down so I am less than. I'm tired of looking forward to pain or suffering or worry or worst case scenarios. I'm tired of that. I'm, I'm done with that. So instead, I'm focusing on things that are positive and productive during the day. So I'm recording this audio with you, connecting with you. I hope it's inspiring you. I do enjoy coffee. <laughs> That's one thing I've gotten back to during these times in 2020. I have definitely gotten back to coffee again. Oh, it's decaf, it's very natural, organic stuff, mushroomy based coffee, and I water it way down. So don't worry, I'm not like hyper up on caffeine, but I do love the coffee, the warmth of the cup in my hand and the aroma of it. And so I'm letting myself enjoy that. It is something I look forward to, a simple something that I look forward to in my days. So I encourage you to look forward to things throughout your day. 
to plant or plan some things to look forward to in your day because you deserve it and you don't even just deserve it or have earned it you need it you really need it and for some of you it might be structure you might need some kind of structures you might need to plan little nature dates where you go sit out in the backyard next to a tree and write in your journal or go listen to the birds or go listen to your favorite podcast go for a drive park at a park that you used to love to hang out at and if there's too many people out there and you're not comfortable with that you can just sit in your car and listen to that podcast or maybe you listen to music and go for a drive a beautiful long drive whatever that looks like to you find it Now is the time to be creative and to find ways to really look forward in a way that's different so that we can be in the present while we're utilizing that energy, that positive motivational energy that inspires us. Mm -hmm. And so for me today, I'll probably put on some Disney, my Mickey Mouse earrings, might wear some Mickey socks. Actually, I think I'm going to wear a shirt that's Aladdin. I love that movie. That's like one of my favorites, a genie and Aladdin. You guys, Robin Williams, you know, I've channeled him, right? Above Life Channel, YouTube. I've channeled him on Above Life Channel. Love him. Love that movie. And I like the new version too, by the way. That's a good one too. So that's what I'm going to enjoy. Those are little things that I'm going to do to keep me inspired. So I'm interested in knowing what are you going to do? What kinds of ideas do you have or what kinds of things are helping you to stay in a a positive vibe, a positive flow? Some of your suggestions just might help other people. So go ahead and put those in the comments below, whether it's a really great book that you've read. Try to refrain from putting links, though, because links and comments on YouTube videos, it doesn't work so well. YouTube algorithm um, thinks it's spam and puts it in the spam folder. So just write the name and the author, that kind of a thing. Okay, maybe there's a great podcast you love. Go ahead and write that in there. Maybe maybe it's some specific kind of 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 crafting that you do, some kind of needlework, some quilting, whatever it might be. Maybe people who have lost their time, lost kind of time got away from you and you used to like to crochet with your grandma when you were like 12. Maybe now's the time to start crocheting again, even though grandma's in the afterlife or you can't visit grandma right now because maybe she's, you know, quarantined, you know, got to keep those, those folks safe or our people that mean so much to us got to keep them safe. So, but maybe in honor of her, you start crocheting again. And then maybe you can send her something that you make. See how this works, you guys? It's not that complicated. It's not that hard. Your heart knows. Your heart so, so knows. All right. Look forward to reading your comments. Thanks so much for being part of Sunday Morning Coffee with Bridget. I hope you enjoy this podcast series. To keep us connected, goal is always, as always, to inspire your spirit to fill you with some hope. I hope that we've done that today to encourage you to live your life. It's your, this is yours after all. It's not mine. It's yours. So you need to live it. I can't do it for you. Nobody can do it for you. You need to live it. Live it. And you get to decide what that looks like. Today. (laughs) Thanks for listening. Have a great day.